Hello everybody, this is Valarius, and uh, today I'm going to go over the uh, tutorial on uh, the automatic chicken cooker, and um, it's it's fairly simple. Uh, you can do it with um, just a little bit of resources. Um, the most resource intensive will be the, the redstone probably, and um, iron, because you're going to need... Um, uh, four hoppers, I believe, um, at least. Um, but th this is a, a really easy system. Um, you put a bunch of chickens in the top, and then you never worry about them. Like, you can come in and seal this up, and um, they won't care at all. And basically, they produce eggs, which go into this hopper, which feed into this dispenser, which is rigged up to automatically fire, and the eggs will shoot down into here. Um, when the the eggs shoot, they have a chance to turn into a little chick, and when the um, the chick is in here and the lava comes, it won't kill the chicken. But when the chicken grows up, his head will hit the lava, he will get burned, he will fall into the, um, the hopper, and his um, stuff will get put into his chest. So, your chest can be anywhere, um, it can come from a hundred... 200, 300 blocks away. Um, I have mine on my realm set to go into an item sorter before it um, goes into any chests. But uh, for my let's play, it's just me, so I'll only have a few um, chickens on there. And um, let me set the time real quick to zero. Um, so you place your chest, and behind it, you'll have a hopper with a non-flammable half slab because uh, the lava w won't actually hit this but it's better to uh, be safe than sorry and then uh, I like to, to put glass around it um, just so you can see what's going on um, I like the like this part right here um, you can actually see if you have little chicks in there or if you come and check on it a few times and there's no little chicks in here then you know you can check your dispenser to see if there's a problem. Um, glass will also let so you can open your chest. Um, you could also, if you want to, just put uh, half slabs on the top. And uh, it'll keep the lava from coming out, and it'll also allow you to open the chest. Uh, so I'll just leave it like that. And then behind the, the chest and the half slab, you're going to... Uh, in my, my let's play, I'm using a, a regular piston with um, sand on top of it. So, so um, when it when it's fired, the uh, the piston goes up, and um, it blocks the. Oh, jeez, please. And it it blocks the lava from coming out, and so I'm gonna do just like I did over there. Um, so behind this. You're gonna want to build a uh, a thing that'll just hold your lava back. So that's what that looks like over there. Um, the the rest of this I'm gonna put in sandstone, um, just so I can put redstone on top of it. And uh, and then in this this hole here, you're gonna put a dispenser facing downward. Now in order to go down, I'm gonna dig down like this, but um, you don't need to leave any space at all. Um, Alright, so you don't have to leave any space at all, um, just like I have here. Um, the eggs will just fire down into here, no problem. And then, off of this, we are just going to place a uh, comparator coming out with a uh, a uh, repeater right after it. You're going to click this so that the light is on, and then you're going to place another repeater facing directly into the block with a, uh, a two-tick delay also. And then we are going to connect all of this with redstone like so. So when you get a, an item in the, the thing, 
and it'll shoot out. Now I, I put a chicken uh, spawn chicken egg in there, so it it automatically. Oh, yeah, you can hear it firing. It automatically makes a chicken. Um, the regular chicken eggs that the chickens lay don't always um, make a chick, but um, this this design right here means that um, no matter what I put in there, it'll fire, and um, it'll keep firing as long as there's something in there, and it won't do anything when there's nothing in there. And then on top of that, or however far away you want to make it, I'm going to put a hopper and another half slab. You don't need this half slab really, but uh, I think it looks better. And uh, what's what's not to uh, make look pretty in Minecraft, right? So uh, I'm just gonna put a bunch of glass. You can use whatever block you want. Um, in in my met let's play, I think I'm using cobble. But uh, and this is just gonna hold your chickens. Um, the best thing about this system is once you put your chickens in the top. Uh, you never have to worry about it again. They will just constantly um, lay eggs, which will um, eventually turn into. They will eventually turn into. Um, oh shoot! I didn't want that. Okay. I threw the bucket and it went into the dispenser. <laughs> Um, so, we're just going to put a bunch of chickens in there. Um, you can put a few chickens in to start with if you're on a uh, survival map. And then you just feed them until you have a, a good number in there. And they'll, they'll continue to produce eggs, which will, like I said, shoot into this, which will fire down into here. And then comes the, uh, the tricky part. I have a, a clock that I, I've timed out so that the... Um, the lava blade will be on it for just a second. So it's going to be one comparator in, and then feeding into that will be eight redstone repeaters. Um, they can be in any any way you want, but I, I just have them set up this way. Um, and your si your signal has to come first to the the redstone comparator, and then each of these redstone repeaters will be set to a four tick delay. So that gives us a, a pretty long delay. Um, I tried it with only five repeaters, and uh, it wasn't long enough for the lava to actually reach uh, the the third line here. And then comes the, the most important part, is going to be this timer part here. You see, it just went off. And um, it it's actually really simple, but um, I can't make it on my survival let's play because I need the sticky pistons. And um, I haven't been able to find the um, the uh, slimes. So basically, you're going to make um, a gap like this. Uh, eventually, once it fires, your sticky pistons will be holding onto the redstone. But until it fires the first time, it'll be open. And then from this side, we're going to put two hoppers facing into each other. So they, f they feed into each other and if if you didn't have this redstone here they would just constantly be pushing the items back and forth. So if you put 40 of one item in here and 30 in the, of another item in here they would just keep swapping back and forth. Um, the way the hopper works though is if you have a redstone charge on it it holds the item. So I can put anything in here and it'll stay in here. But if I put the items in here they will feed into the other one. So and then they'll just hold in here. Um, out of each of these we're gonna put a comparator facing into um, whatever block it is that you're using and then on the other side of that put a uh, redstone dust and a redstone dust and then to activate it you'll just um, put a certain number of blocks in your side thing, uh, your hopper and it doesn't matter which one um, you put it in. If you put it in this one, then you're just gonna have to uh, to put it in. You get about um, four seconds for every ten blocks that you put in. So um, sixty blocks gives you about twenty-four seconds. Um, so you could put um, enough in here to get 
oh, about two and a half minutes. And it's set so that when it goes to this direction is when it activates. So with these two hoppers, I could get about five minutes um, in between each activation of the cooker. Uh, let's see if it's doing anything over here. Well, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to get a whole stack of spawn chicken eggs and I'll put them in there and we'll see how it goes. So it's just going to fill this up here with uh, chickens. And that's good enough. And then when this thing finishes, um, it's, it's time. We will uh, see it in action. Um, like I said, when the chickens lay the regular eggs, they don't always hatch into uh, chicks. But um, when when we do get a chick, uh, it it will not get hit by this lava. Let's see, they all get hit by the lava, and you get your cooked chicken. Now, oh, uh, they they tried to make an escape, so you have to make sure that that's blocked off. You have to make sure that's blocked off, otherwise they will um they'll try to run out that way. So let's let's try this again with like ten more. They make that noise because they get hit by the eggs right when they come out. See that? Okay, now. So, the lava goes, kills the big chicks, and the little chick is unharmed. And then, down here, you get your cooked chicken and your feathers. And so, like I said, uh, eventually, um, this this will just keep adding up. On my, on my realm server, I have two, two of these little cells with about... 20 chickens in each one, and I have double chests full of cooked chicken and feathers, and um, it it's a it's a good system. So uh, it looks like it's getting nighttime, but uh, I'm done with the tutorial. If you if you have any suggestions on how to, I could clean up this um, this redstone, or um, if you want to request a specific project, um, I like I like messing around with redstone, so. Um, Thank you, and uh, subscribe if you liked it, and uh, let me know uh, what I can do to improve. Thank you very much.